He's my favorite. Uh, I got this new app on my phone. It tells me how far I walk. I walked seven miles today, which I never thought I've ever done in my entire life. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's not funny. I was just letting you guys know a little bit about more about me. Uh, next person coming to the stage is the first contestant and the great Indiana Mike Off. Everybody, please give it up for Jay Hook. What's up, everybody? Y'all doing all right? Yeah. Good, good. My topic is going to be about reality TV. <laughs> now, these shows litter the television landscape. Virtually every cable network has them now. Even the Discovery Channel has reality shows, y'all. Yeah, they made a discovery <laughs> that real education, real halftime dollars don't follow behind educational programming. Follow behind reality television. And the reality shows are off the chain, too. I'm going to talk about a couple of them here tonight. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about is called the Amish Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I never thought in a million years that I would use those two words together in the same sentence. <laughs> but apparently there is a mob culture in the Amish community, and in this particular community in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, the mafia is headed up by a gentleman that goes by the name of Lebanon Levi. <coughs> People, I'm not making any of this up. Now, Levi's a little unconventional as Amish dudes go in the sense that he doesn't use a traditional Amish mode of transportation. No horse and buggy for Levi. Mm -mm. Brother man drives a caddy. <laughs> now, I guess if you're going to be a mafia boss, driving a caddy would be apropos. And like all mafia bosses, Levi has his share of henchmen. And I can see him and his engine rolling up on Caleb at the general goods store doing a shakedown, right? <laughs> We are here for the protection money, Caleb. Pay up. You are delayed with this. Don't be late next month. And what is this I hear about you socializing with men in the whites? They are heathens. They have electricity in their homes, for God's sake. I hear about you doing this again, Caleb. I'm going to have Joel in here come and cut off your beard. Are you understanding me? I know Jordan's a man and I stop trying to change the subject. Keep getting smart, boy, and I'm taking all of your candles and your soul with me when I leave. You'll be work in the dark with a butter knife. I'm warning you, Caleb. It's a strange show, y'all. But the Discovery Channel has a show stranger than that one, don't they? They have a show called Naked and Afraid. <laughs> Now, if you haven't seen this show, they put together two strangers, one man, one woman, drop them off in the middle of nowhere, but naked, <laughs> with no resources. And together, they're supposed to help each other survive out in the middle of nowhere, but naked with no resources, for the following 21 days. Now, I've seen excerpts of most of these episodes, and in none of the episodes that I see any black people. And I surmise that there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, Black people ain't doing no shit like that. <laughs> because number two, if they did, they would have to change the name of the show. From Naked and Afraid to Naked and Excited. <laughs> I can see it now. What's up, y'all? This is Demarcus. And I just got dropped off in this big old field. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I got no food, no clothing. My nuts are freezing. <laughs> I don't even have my iPhone, y'all. That's really fucked up. <laughs> but anyways, I'm about to be teamed up with this sister named Aquasha. Now, I haven't met her yet, but they're about to drop her off here soon. And together, we're going to help each other survive out here for the next three weeks. Oh, there she is now. Ooh, Laquasha got a big ass, y'all. Mmm, that booty look good. <laughs> oh, baby. Damn, baby. Damn, baby. <laughs> Fast forward to day four. It's day four, y'all. And me and LaQuash been going at it like rabbits the whole time. It just dawned on us that we neither one of us have eaten. We're both very hungry. So we're out here in this field now, foraging for food. As y'all can see, LaQuash is about 15 feet ahead of me. And oh my God, y'all, she just bent over. <laughs> oh, that big pretty caboose is all in my face. <laughs> it's so fat and juicy. 
And the jig was like jello sitting on top of a washing machine during a spinning cycle. <laughs> oh no, what's happening again? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> day five. It's day five, y'all. We still haven't eaten. I'm getting very, very weak. If we don't get some nourishment, we're both gonna perish out here. Look, LaQuasha, there's a some sort of dwelling up ahead. Let's go check it out. LaQuasha, baby, please don't walk in front of me. We ain't gonna never get there if you do that. Come over and walk by my side. Here, baby, grab my hand. LaQuasha, that's not my hand. Come on, we're playing. Okay, I know you're not playing, because you're a stone bridge. <laughs> well, we got to eat. Besides, I'm too tired to do it to you. I need some energy. You have depleted me of all of my protein. Come on, let's go see what this is. You hear that, LaQuasha? Could that be what I think it is? Oh my God, it is. Hot damn, LaQuasha. It's a chicken coop. <laughs> oh, we good now, baby. We good. Fast forward to day 21. Now, on this final day, they do exit interviews with everyone. And most people on the show generally lose between 15 to 25 pounds. They went and interviewed LaQuasha and DeMarcus out in the middle of the field where they've been for the past three weeks. Feathers and chicken bones was laying all over the place. DeMarcus had actually gained three pounds, while LaQuasha, she gained seven pounds. And she was two and a half weeks pregnant. <laughs> now, they went on the Morris show around a year later about that pregnancy where, strangely enough, DeMarcus claimed he was not the father. <laughs> Turned out, y'all, he was right. He wasn't the father. The cameraman was. <laughs> yeah, I guess he like big booty freaks, too. Hey, that's my time, y'all. I gotta get off the stage. Thank you for the laughing. <laughs>